the Supreme Court of Judicature Occidental. Hang on. <laughs> yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> oh, God, explain it. Hi, welcome to my first time playing the great Ace Attorney. So, um. Definitely my first time playing, however, I need to tell you a few things. So back in the days where um, there was no hope of this game being translated into English, well, uh, there was this great team that subbed the game, like, not for playing, for watching. And um, don't click, don't click out on me. I've watched part of it. I've watched part of it. Um, that was many years back. I didn't complete it at all. I don't remember completing it. And well, I need to tell you the things I know, right? So this, I remember, I only watched the first half, first part. I'm not sure actually where I stopped, but uh, I remember one major thing near the beginning. Maybe I remember a few characters. I don't remember their names. I think the subbing team subbed it but the voice, of course the voices were Japanese um, the names were kept to Japanese I think they didn't localize it I'm not sure whether they localized this I think not okay I didn't watch the trailer I didn't read the summary maybe I saw like a brief glimpse of it I think I saw a Japanese name but I'm not sure and that's it I think that's it oh, oh. here's here's the good part so basically um I didn't know. I didn't know. There was this survey that came out. I saw a link somewhere. I clicked on it from Capcom that asked if we want more A certainly, I think. So I was doing the survey before even starting this game. I just I just purchased this game and I I I have not played it as you can see it. I ha I haven't started. So I did the survey first. And then there was one part which says Great Ace Attorney 2 referring to a game that apparently exists. I don't know the Great Ace Attorney 2 exists. I knew I knew one. I didn't know there was a two. And I only found out through the survey because I gave up on the Great Ace Attorney Dai Gyakuten Saiban after we saw no hope of it being sucked. So, um, yes, definitely did not know that I was a part two. So apparently, I bought this game. I thought I was only getting one, but there's two. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. But I'm excited. So, um, you know what? Let's start. Never mind, I don't know what's this. Wait, no, okay. I, definitely, I went into the options to fix some uh, settings, windows and stuff. Um, what? else am I missing? I think that's all? I don't know. What's reader? Turn this on to enable story mode in place of autoplay allowing you to progress through the game automatically without having to press any buttons. But I want to press buttons? So it's basically autoplay. Some accolades may not be available to you if you use story mode. Then I would rather not use story mode. Key config. Oh no, I'm using keyboard. Is there a joystick version? I'm fine with keyboard though. Oh, I guess. Confirm is peace bar. Cancel is Zack. Oh my god. Uh, be right back while I memorize this. Okay, did, okay, okay. Listen, these are a lot of keys to memorize. I don't know. I'm hoping they have, um, they have what like they show it. They have display on the screen itself to show what keys to press. I hope so. Okay, e on vibration. I then. So is there a joystick version? I don't know. I'll just use mouse and keyboard this first time around then. Screen flashes, subtitles on, text skip on, off, no, wait, I'm not sure. 
Ever this is a skipping of unread text or oh, unread text no text box transparency. I, I tend to skip a lot but ace attorney definitely depends on um, every sentence that every sentence counts. Um back or the exact okay. Can I just use my mouse? Special contents. What do I have? Eclipse, I get the Japanese name, yes. I think that might have been his name, but what is Iris's homemates? I want it. Looks good. I don't know who's Iris. Iris's homemade dress. Is she Iris? No, she's Susato. Who is Iris? I don't know. Oh, she looks good. Oh, she looks good. But let uh, this is my first time playing. I might change it halfway through. We'll see. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes, I remember. I can't remember what he is exactly supposed to I Wow, I don't remember his role. He's a detective, I guess. Whoa, he looks like an anime character. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Select adventure, new game. Do I use my mouse now? Hmm. The Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. Oh, oh, wait. I don't recall this scene. Is this an introduction scene to... But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. What are we talking about? I don't recall this, do I? I mean, I don't feel shocked by it, but... I'm sorry, I can't I can't pronounce that. The Adventure of the Great Departure. I can pronounce that, but the words below, no. Am I on the right game? I don't recall this. No. Wait. That's, this is not what I recall. What is this? Wait. What is this? Spacebar? Okay. I still can't believe it. I can't... I, I still can't believe this is happening. Are we Naruhodo? I guess we are. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber? is the highest court in Japan dis waiting to decide my fate. I haven't voice acted in a while. This is gonna be painful. What? So... Save your glares. Murder. Help. What is G again? Oh, okay. How do I go back again? Zack. Okay. Um, okay. Keyboard. I I'm not sure whether you can hear my keyboard. It's not the quiet type. My name is Ryunosuke Naruhodo. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yumin University. Is that on purpose? Because you you may actually I think that's oh well my Japanese is rusty. You may is famous. I'm awaiting my trial. Tease history, tease history. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. Incident. Okay. That's enough. Ah, ah, uh, yes. Uh huh. Ah, I forgot your name. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. He looks like a student though. 
Wendy students? I can't recall. Lawyer? And I, yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has a right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. He's like the good looking guy. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. See? They were students. That part I remember a bit. And yet I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Okay. Right, you real real no skin? Oh, y yes, of course. Sorry. Wow, well, I've lost all my voices. Don't recall any. What are you apologizing to me for? I'll give you Miles H your voice. Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. I don't know how to proceed to the next conversation. I can't recall. It's a space bar. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. Ha, 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 ha. There you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers this past few days. You may university professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Obviously. Of course not. You have to believe me. I, I didn't do it. I could never murder someone. I honestly don't remember this case at all. Show yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean? What did I watch? A demo? A sub demo? What was it about? Can't be. I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rinosuke. I know it's his friend, right? Yeah, okay. Kazuma Asugi, my best friend. And also in his second year at Yume University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. You're in Japan anyway. My qualifications don't mean much yet. So exactly... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. His headband? His fluttering headband when there's no wind? And in my room right now, it's hot? It's so ironic. He said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. What? Congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I know, I've been with forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So you'll be representing a Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm glad they kept it to Japan. <laughs> Proud of as your friend. My space man is not working well. Why is man? Do I have to use my right hand for my space bar? Okay. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. I don't bring Oh, you mean the wind? The mysterious wind that's blowing around his headbands. Which bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then, come with me. This piece of is not working well. Maybe I should change that. Hang on. This is not working well. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then. Partner. Partner? Was straight after that. That's when it happened. Right, so there was a bang, right? Asugi, may I have a word with a word? Pr 
Professor, I didn't know you were coming. I don't remember who the murderer... I don't know who the murderer is for this case. Well, this case has personal significance to me, but never mind that for now. That's a bit. We should go to immediately to the judges' team cham chambers. To His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advo advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. Seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? But he called him Professor Munch, aren't you in the same class? You mean like they don't share the same professor? I say I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then, you're nurse, okay? I'll see you in the courtroom. Yeah, thanks, Kazuma. You can't see it, but I was bowing to her too. Slightly. This is awkward. By me? Yes, sorry. You must be the defendant. We must get another who do I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. My name is Yuji Nikotoba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yumei University. Ah, Professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Good professor. Asuge has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. Okay. As such, I feel you should know. You know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asuge has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, Ooh, I'm afraid that that permission will be revoked and never granted again. What? I'm sorry, that was my reaction to before his. As I suspected, you were unaware of this. He didn't tell us. I have a feeling Asugi may have chosen not to tell you. Thanks. He's agreed to defend me knowing that if he fails, his dream will be shattered. But I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I'm innocent, right? I didn't do it. I swear it. I'm not a murderer. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless... I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry, what do you mean? Or you'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. But then what should I do? Well, naturally I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Thanks. Right, so as soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When it happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what would the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Wow! Of course not. Okay. <laughs> I believed him for a second. Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. I would say most surreptitious. The discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Sugi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as a defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! There's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway. This is it. It destroys badly. Kazuma's dreams of studying abroad are over and what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so... With absolutely no idea of what Leah hit, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. Okay.
My one and only chance of proving my innocence. The trial that would recite my destiny. My voices are all mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not enough practice. So it's 22nd November 9am, courtroom 2, okay. So this is a courtroom? I mean, look at his eyes. It's pretty good. It looks pretty good for an old game. I don't, did they revamp something? The Supreme Court of Ju 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 Judicature? Judicature? Um, someone will correct me. No court in the land has more power. I much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's close to ordinary members of the public or only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It will become clear in time. But for now. You need to concentrate, Yurinosuke. It's about to begin. Let's see the judge. Let's see the judge. Oh god. Hey, he looks good. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. This is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. Who did this? The professor did. Oh, sorry. He did. Okay, that's correct, Your Excellency. I thought the professor put something. I, I made the request myself. Now my procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. Trial, prior to trial. <laughs> As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? Is this where I'm supposed to say I do? That's weird. This is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do... What? I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I'm gonna wait and... S I can't go to... Oh, I forgot. It's W-A-S-D. Wait and see. Kazuma is a lawyer here. I can't defend myself. Yeah. If I said I do, it would be tantamount to lying. And I've been accused of mo murder. For goodness sake, this is no time for lies. Yeah. Let's trust Kazuma. But if I don't say I'll defend myself now, things could end very badly for my friend. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I'm standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate yes! for his defense. I'm sorry, what? Oh, he's gonna say it anyway? What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I don't think he qualifies. I would like to inform the court that, that I, Venus Kifanaruda, will be defending myself. You'll be. What are you playing at, Rinosuke? Professor Miko, Miko Toba told me everything just now before the trial. Did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if we were to lose. But I don't think we are qualified, are we? We aren't, right? How sad. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, yes, I got called away for a while. So I'm back now. So let's continue. It means you don't have faith in me. I do, he didn't. You think I won't be able to get in your off? No, it's not that, really. It's just... Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... Yes, I knew that's how you'd feel. Which is why I did not... I decided not to tell you. Professor Mikotova shouldn't have stuck his nose in. 
I don't know why I just pressed one moment. Okay, there we go. Very well. Did I exit the window? Oh, here we go. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Who's accused that makes defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel, really? Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent he's confident that he can speak for himself. Is that, isn't that so, Naruhodo-san? <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I'm not confident at all, but if you are innocent, you know you should trust in yourself and your friend. In fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. Hm. Well, for me, a university student to be brought before the Supreme Court. What? You must have perpetrated the most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature of Japan. Judicature. Somebody will tell me how to pronounce it. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Or oh, I can just search up, it up myself, I guess. Would I do it now? Do I, do I make myself clear? Defendant Naruhodo. Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. Here goes the tutorial. My competence? What does that mean? I need it because I have no idea what my keys are. It's questioning your ability to press the keys. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So let's start with the very simplest of questions. Um, yes. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Ah, uh, yes. Well, this is enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But... Wait. Oh. Uh. Uh, I'm so nervous. I can't even remember that. What was it again? Mmm, Unosuke. He will tell us what keys to press. Let me guess, your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. I don't remember what to press. But, but I can't even find it. That's right, I'm looking at my keys and I don't recall what it was. Simple. You can access the court record with a press of E. Okay. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. You just have to press E for the court record. Alright, alright, alright. This is a list of evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead of with E. I feel like changing my keys. Switch to people instead with E? What did I press earlier? E, right? Ah. You'll find details about the victim in here. When you're done, just press space to go back. So remember, everything you have to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Oh, you better not keep his excellency waiting any longer. Go on. How do I... Okay, so if I... Let me just change back. Change back my key. Uh, right? Okay, okay. What if I space bar? Okay. Then press R to present. Right now. What is right left for? Okay. R to present. Kazumi Asugi. 
Eugen Mikotoba, Auchi. John Wilson, what are we looking for? Victim. I'm gonna put him here. Oh, let's just try. Yes! <laughs> I'm not gonna get any penalty. I don't think so. I don't see any penalty sign. <laughs> Did we see up tag this spectacle top knot standing opposite? It's a bit it's a bit a bespectacle top knot. Sorry for some reason that just came out, even though I know what's wrong. <laughs> Perhaps you are unaware that I am a monster of the ancient no 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 style of soda. A pathetic little ch a pathetic little child like you would be sliced to pieces before you even came close to taking my life. I wouldn't provoke that proud Edo spirit. He, he might draw his blade on you. I I thought courtroom sparring was supposed to be done with words. What? I'm not sure. You are not instilling the court with much confidence here. Quickly, give him the correct answer before his turns is gavel on you. Find the victim in the people section of the court record and press R. Okay, okay. Uh, one moment, I just want to see. He's my best friend despite being a student and qualified defense lawyer as well. So he's already qualified to be a defense lawyer. Good. 23 was the age Phoenix started with, I believe. Eugene Mikotoba. Medical school professor at the Imperial Yume University. He's an authority in forensic medicine. It's a bit weird that he's here. Um, who would appear to have little love for the changes of the cultural reformation has brought about. Yeah. Okay. Victim of this case, visiting professor of medicine at Yume University. So he's a visiting professor of medicine. He's a visiting, okay. He's from the British Empire, okay. Yes! Arr. The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. Well, at least you can remember the, remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England invited to Yume University three years ago. Oh, three years ago. Okay, good to know. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is not going to be pleased with you. It's at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. Yeah, despite these delicate circumstances, maybe it's you. The blood of an English man has been spilled on our, our, our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Union University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education, have you no honor? But I didn't do it. I don't even know who he was. This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. No, you should make a thorough resolution, a proper resolution to the matter, not a speedy one. In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. You're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has its unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. Yeah, but you are not. You'll get. I think the murder will get away. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. <sighs> the fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Right, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. It's all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. Oh, he has English class. Oh. Oh, he has English class tomorrow. Okay. I don't know whether that helps, but alright. Wait. He's there, yeah. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still. I should go and say hello. Oh, you approached him? 
Bruno Sake, you approached him. Ooh. So I went over to the professor's table. Oh, you said hi? <sighs> and introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. You said hi. Now they've seen you with him. Now then, let me pose my next question to you. Defendant Naruto. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. Where? Proof that I'm a student at the Imperial University. So, wait, wait, okay. I can't get used to the keys. I keep pressing the arrow keys. Should I remove my hand from the arrow keys? Okay. Death occurred a little after 2 pm and was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. I don't. Do most bullets go through the victim's body? That would have been a really powerful bullet, right? I think it's. But somehow that's important. It did it, it hit something and got stopped. I don't get it. Chop. Caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to chest, okay? Where's the back button? Okay, here we go. State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously, that was... Uh, Runosuke. I, I checked it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. By evidence? But how? Find a piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select please I still have to present it. Okay. Yes! Oh uh, well. I don't know why I have to do this, but here you go, I'm presenting evidence to you as a defendant. According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death due to gun gunshot trauma. Learn to read you, imbecile. There's a post Master Martin report, I take it. Sorry, yes. That's right. The um, post Martin report. What did he say? What did he say? Hemorrhagic death due to can According to this document. Well, he said document. It's not wrong. Thanks, Ayuchi. I'm sorry I missed what because of my seat. One moment, moment. In the west, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here, here in Japan, a police, offi police officer may yearly inspect the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. Oh. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so called approach photographic print of the scene of the crime. We have cameras. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. But I don't see a bullet hole. It looks more like a suit. But if you say it's a bullet hole, I guess I will believe you. But it doesn't look like a bullet hole, though. In other words, oh, ouchie. Ouch. Okay. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, Counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. <laughs> the photographic print. Uh -huh. So there's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Well, well, I am satisfied with your answers. I'm not. Let us start the trial. Examination time. Certainly, Your Excellency. Yes, certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better pre apprise the court with the facts of the case. 
The prosecution hereby calls its first witness. There was a witness who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. This is it then. Please don't tell me it's a professor. He's professor. I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikotoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. Huh? But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as her assistant. Am I the defense lawyer? Okay. Ah, of course. When he was speaking with me before, he simply said Kazuma Asugi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Hmm, he really has been sticking his eye in, hasn't he? Maybe, but any help you can give would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. I'm sure this is kind of not legal, but okay. I, I guess. Well, my first piece of advice is, but I guess it's in the olden times, it's probably like more loose. The rules are more loose, probably. Rain in that crazy look of bewilderment and control that cold sweats. Maybe rain in that crazy hit <laughs> and control the cold sweats first. Yeah, that hit man. Very distracting, Kazuma. Get rid of it. No, don't get rid of it. Oh, this is... Who is that? Witness your witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Hosonaga. Of course, my name is Satoru Hosonaga. I am the head waiter at a western star restaurant called La Carnival. I guess. He's, oh god, he's bleeding. Um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some, uh, blood. I don't think he's alright. It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Well, it really, really should. Yes. I lost my voice. As everyone knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed by far, 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 far foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now. Full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. Okay. Sorry, one moment. Southeastern. I don't know whether it's important, but okay. Alright. This green crime occurred in one of the district's so called restaurants, an Occidental eatery. I have turned so many new words. Three days ago. No, actually, this is the only new word so far. It's just that somehow I don't know how to pronounce a few things. Understood. Hosunaga san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about this incident. At once, sir. And no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer bo boy, please. Perspiring, maybe. But aspiring? One day. It was just after 2 p.m. You know, I got distracted by his name. I think Hoso from Hosoi is like thin, and Naga might be from Nagai, which is long, thin and long. I guess I, it doesn't quite make sense. I mean, he. Okay, whatever. He looks pretty medium built. We have few diners at that time of day. Lunch time was rushed, was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory of it too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. Let me know about these three tables occupied. Where's the touch cable? Oh my god, quarter doctor. It was when I was in the kitchen putting away crockery and cutlery. Then he's not a witness if you can't see it. I mean, well, he heard it. Gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. Okay. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university. Yes! Ruinosuke, you were not. You're not telling me any, everything. You should tell me first so that we are ready for this. Were you holding a gun? 
Hold on, let me just clarify something here. Well, I did pick up a gun that I found like you. <sighs> Why did you do that? I didn't shoot him. And why did you touch it? Believe if I ask you to refrain from petty interjections, the court wishes to... I don't think it's petty though. But he was interrupting. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. But... The next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defendant Naruhodo. Don't worry, Eunice, okay? You'll have your chance to fight back. Cross examination. For now, we must quietly listen to the witness. If I may confirm one point later, standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. Yes, without question. Are you all not concerned for himself? I see, and apart from the accused, does anyone else be standing beside the victim? We don't need anyone to be standing beside the victim. It's a, it's a gun. He could just, you know, the, the person could just... Just shoot and toss it, and it slides to beside the victim. No. There was no one else around that table but the deceased. Englishman and the university student. But there were three tables, right? What did he just see? There was no one else around the table. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. What's the matter, Rinosuke? That's... That's just not right. That's right. You're getting it. You're getting it, Rinosuke. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello, does he remember the other person? Aha. Uh -huh. There was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed, yeah. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Interject. Is now a good time though? You know what? If you're presented the option, always do it. Yes! Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Oh, we should have waited for him to finish, no? Dear me, dear me, what are we going to do with you? With a blatant disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused is mere student and not a real liar after all? But I'm sure what, what I saw. Osunaga's son, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy. Were you not wearing your spectacles? No. Were you not wearing your spectacles? The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it. Oh no, he's gonna say he only served like one portion of meal. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you'd like to. What is there next? A sketch of the establishment's layout, drawn by yourself, I presume? That's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. Can we turn around the card and see what's on the back? However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. How? I can't see anything. What? Wait. There's only an X. That doesn't tell me anything. Well, you're clearly a very conscientious waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. I can tell nothing from it. It doesn't look like anything. Well, is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Of course. Is there something at the back of the car? There's something at the back of the card. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> oh, oh, he needs his medicine. <coughs> something seems to have shaken him. <coughs> Let's take a look. <coughs> Give it to me. So, 
This god has now had a precis of the case. Yes, so the woman the gonsha was heard in the restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here, no? The defendant Arahodo? Yes, Your Excellency. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. No! In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I called this waiter as an unsworn oh sorry. I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the court case to the court. What do you mean by unsworn? But I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. What? The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. He said he was alone. He said uh, there was no one else. This doesn't make sense. What do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? Don't be... A fool. Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual, but these peculiarities... Look, look, he's judging you now. Look at it. Look at his eyes. He's judging you. We not scared. You've said it. Professor Mikoto has said it. And so has the judge and the prosecution. No, he only said it was unusual. He didn't ask you to give up. I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. Yep. But you'll be charged with murder. So I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent. Trust you. And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face, is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. And you just. are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Yunosuke. The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. Go, Kazuma. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Come on, do it, do it, Aoichi. Bring it out. Bring whoever it is out, I don't know. Indeed, Prosecutor Aoichi. Please continue with proceedings. Get him out of here, send him to a hospital, and, and find someone else. The young can be so reckless. No, many call me a saint. But I can be a devil when I want to be. Huh. In a few short moments for now. That dumb struck young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witnesses. Very well. Officer, bring forth the witnesses at once. Who is this? Who are these? Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant. Yesanosa. That is not a name. That is not a name. I do, I've never heard of a Japanese name that so sounds like that. Yesanosa. Hang on. Aso Nase There's a play somewhere, isn't it? Ieyasu Somebody I can recall <laughs> Alright, never mind Myself, I find Employ as a purveyor of fine article holds of antiquity from the efflorescence I don't know what that means of a nation, Nippon Nippon and conduct my trade from Rasute a humble premises in the second district Kyurio Korekuta <laughs> Okay 
Oh yeah, that one. That's English. Roughly. It's basically curio. Corrector. So it's like collector. Collector. So a curio collector. Is curio a real word? It might be. The chest of this. An antique dealer and a soldier. What are you pairing? Oh, 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 I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Oh, this was smart. Smart localization. Hang on. <laughs> yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, let's go. Okay. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Yeah, I was asking about the other table. Myself, actually. I am, I mean, I mean myself. I have actually take tea of the most exquisite aroma of the at the establishment in question. Always post noon. And not if you infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curios with which I make my business. Okay, collector. I can't understand what that old man is saying. It's okay. He's an antique dealer and it sounds like he's a regular La Carnival. Carnival. It seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. To them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Although to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'll be a seller rather than a buyer. Perhaps. Now, you both witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Are you the murderer? Affirmative. The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. It was the black uniformed dunk infantry man over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. Where would I get a gun from? This man is impossible to understand as it is. The other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. Yeah, I heard something too. There's something on his back. So this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. So Jay is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything as you saw at a precise moment uh, the end of the Okay. Yes, sir. No, sir. Standing by ready to report, sir. That sounds like a baby, actually. Hmm, unsavory memories of a most acerbic afternoon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I was ingesting a regulation of beef. Steak at the regulation at a restaurant while having a technical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that time, precise at the precise moment, the firearm was discharged. I do something about that baby on your back. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Black uniform varsity cadet fight on the English civilian and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious crew. Oh, it disappeared. That's interesting. Did he steal it? So, you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed a vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. I don't think so. I don't think so. What times we live in when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day? Um, I need to see this. From the back. From the back. 
But this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. It's really true, Nervinsky. Yes. All I did was pick up the gun I saw lying on the floor, which you shouldn't have. Common sense says you shouldn't have messed with a crime scene. I don't know how it was back then, but you shouldn't have. After I'd said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and started drinking some coffee. Okay, but you had time to stand back up and go to him and pick up a gun. But when I finished, I got up from my seat. Oh, okay, you were getting up to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I said before he was shot. He picked it up and he was shot with a different gun then. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it so he wanted to return it. So I burned down and just as I was picking it up, Bang! Oh, it was a setup. It was definitely a setup. Well, if that's the truth, it was obviously a, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. Was it neither of them? I don't feel like it's any of them. I don't know. Neske, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. Cross-examine? Do it now. We have finally reached cross examination. Refer to your excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of this witness as the defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly. The testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare yes! no. I said no, but he said yes, but okay, he raised his hand. It's fine. What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this offers? I am, uh, I mean, the defense. Demands its right to a cross examination. Have you heard of one? Have you heard of it? Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki headman next, next door. Boy, next door. Tell me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? Five minutes. How it goes. Persecution of Jackson is a waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross examination? I object to that. Objection! Thank you. The defense is asserting its right to a cross examination. That's right. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. Yeah, you go, boy. Kazuma is a commanding. <sighs> Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross examination. Okay, my voice is. I'm losing my voice. You have to expose the lies in the witnesses' testimony. Ow! Oh. Then fire the gun, which means what the soldier said has to be a lie. Yes, yeah, so we have to press it and then we have to present evidence against it. Yes. Okay. Evidence, yes. That's right. What he says. Now let's go, Rinosuke. Don't let them beat you. Oh, see, his slam isn't very effective. Why did it sound so light? Did he hit? Let's go. Ingesting a regulation beef steak. Right? Myself, I was excelling the boy shoes. Yes, understand. Precise moment, a firearm was discharged. See, from the back. I was on my hands and knees, so he, well, he did not see a single thing. I don't think that it's either of them. Serenusky. Or is it? We know there are lies. I understand that. The question is how. Expose, expose. The key to this is using evidence that we've collected. Examine and present evidence for our witness, I guess. By pressing E. So we'll have to check. Go through the, each witness statement and the details. Somewhere in there you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. Yeah. When you find a statement and a piece of evidence that seem to contradict each other, 
present your evidence with R. Okay, just be careful. You'll be given a penalty. Yes, do yes, okay? That's it. Preuse evidence. Okay. Alright, I'll give it a try. I hear the witnesses' statements over and over again as many times as you'd like. So keep your head and be measured in your attack. Good luck. Partner? I was ingesting. How do I skip the sentence? Is it press? There's press. We have press. Yes! Um. Why aren't you saying anything? Is something. Yes? Yes. And I actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Ask about anything. I'm supposed to do oh my god, stop raising your hand. The beef stick you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Tension. Attention? Oh, tension. Attention. Okay. I guess he would not have noticed. Oh god, the baby on his back. Seriously? Give it milk or something. It's hungry. Maybe. I read that, by the way, just in case. Why are you still raising your hand? Passion. A cutlet is a delicious cut of veal. Waste. I mean, toast. I don't know why I said wasted in breadcrumbs. No, no. No, 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 no. Sorry to interrupt, but how about trying to stick to questions that are relevant to the case? Sorry. So, next question Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of wah? <laughs> no, I heard that. Well, at least we've learned that he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. Do yeah, you hear that, Kazuma? It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. Oh, uh, achievement unlocked, prime presser. Right. Yes! No idea what you're talking about. A Coburn? What's that? Old Edo coin? Is that it? Coban? The day prior to the incident, a treasure of exceptional value from the whole A period. Okay. Okay. In the hope of an influent oh my goodness. Are the words he used real? Cognons cognoscent take Cognoscenti Cognoscenti A praise of its indisputable value. So you're hoping to sell your Koban coin to Sergeant Nosa whom you met at the restaurant. Well yes, it's quite clear where you're going with this boy. About to ascend that a penniless soldier would have no hope of purchasing a precious korban. Isn't that so? Well, you little upstart cadet, cadet. You want to add disrespecting a superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? Are you a superior officer? Blatant subordination. No, I didn't say anything. Although penniless might be just a word I was looking for. <laughs> That's disrespectful, Naruhodo. In any case, the well was really advanced. Three remain precious few pres- There, there remain precious few present with whom I could do business with. And the gentleman aside me who was grappling with his brains feel at the time was my sole prospect. I see. Okay. Why was it your sole perspective? And precise moment, fireman was fireman. Firearm was discharged. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's press it. Uh, yes. So this black uniform, uh, university cadet, you're saying that was me. Just about enough of your sauce cadet. What else do you see around? 
here in black uniform. Isn't Kazuma in black too? <laughs> yeah. It's you, little weasel. You want to go to the fire arm on that man. Maria is back. And you guys have a citizen of the Great Empire of Nippon. You disgust me. What is it, you know, Suke? I'm I'm not quite sure. Something that the surgeon just said, but I can't put my finger on it. Something's playing on my mind. At the back. The case check back over the details of the evidence and present. Fine, yes, present. Yeah, sure. Present. Choke on it, okay. One moment. Alright, let's present. You know what I want to present a while back. The front. How to present? Yes! Why is why are his eyes shaking? Aha, uh -huh, he's sweating profusely. Do you realize it? Do you realize it? What are you playing at, Cadet? What is the meaning of this abomination trusting some photographic print in my moustache? Inconsistency, sir! I mean, yes. There's a clear insult, consistent, consistent, oh my goodness. Can't you see, Ochi? Well, obviously. But, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Come on, Kazuma, Kazuma. Give me the words. Um, I think this must be on anyway. Uh, Your Excellency, there is no place for an amateur student here. This is so frustrating. Kazuma, come on! Yes. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's a parent from a, it's a parent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense. That there's a clear discrepancy here. With a sergeant's, I guess, statement. I didn't see that. Sergeant, yes sir, no sir. I had to do it, I had to do it. Yes sir, what sir? <laughs> the st statement you just... This is a good song. Can I listen to it a bit more? It works with his headband. It's a good song, I like it. The statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet to fight on an English civilian. And from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. I'm not teach, sir. I witness a crime with my own military great yes. eyes, sir. But no, that just can't be. Why not, cadet? I mean, he called Kazuma sir, but he called us cadet. Because. Because. Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah. Sergeant. According to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And there is obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Ah, there we go. Ah. <laughs> what the... What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back. But he pushed it down again. The baby, of course. Can't people see from the side and the back? Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Do you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would be a, that would appear to be indisputable. So therefore, you're wrong. Until the moment I heard it fire, ah, that's cute. My eyes were on the baby. Never mind then. Firmly fixed on the delicious la carnival steak, sir. 
What? The last testimony the court heard was pro has proven wanting beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Yasunosa, is uh, not a good witness. Did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Indeed. That's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. He's not a witness. That's right. You tell him. I was expecting his hair to blow off, but okay. It's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial. Just from that one discrepancy. Yeah, of course. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. Okay. Maybe. But I definitely saw him. Yeah, you saw me holding the gun. I was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. When he was dead. Yes! All I did was pick it up off the floor. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Yeah, he, clearly, he was looking for his thingy. His coin. Can't show interested me. Interested me none. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor. What were you doing? He's smart. He was finding his treasure. Treasure. Yeah. Did the Hoi era Koban. My prize coin. On this occasion, when I visit the restaurant, here is my heavy chute to place it in my bosom pocket. A particular trinket of interest from my shop. Rusty. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I perfect my holy treasure. I believed that he would purchase such a rare find, I did not. I was presented with little alternative. Then, Traverting my eyes for the purpose of my lens. It is dead no more. Simply vanished. Maybe the baby took it. Hold on. Vanished. Hunting around at the table I was in case my habit had fallen there and then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did, but he did it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded toy here in jail. Nothing could distract me. I have interest. Did you find a coin in the end? No. Yeah, I thought so. I see. Lamentable day. The precious holy Koban was lost to me. Right up. Some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the price gone for himself. I was just not denying it. Interesting. This case demands a swift and decisive resolution. The commander has promised to send for a report to the Great Britain Brave Telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient subservient our government feels it must be to the British, it would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now, that's true. I told you, you need a thorough correct one. What is your position, Prosecutor Ochi? Well, don't tell me you have another witness. The defendant may have played the tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. What? My witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain. By hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant. You know, okay, I wrote up. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Very well, God invites the witnesses to testify again. But in the next episode. So until the next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.